Hello YouTube, this is Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales, and welcome to a Photoshop tutorial video, which will be on my channel. And in this episode, we will be looking at how to brand your channel with a thumbnail. So what I've done, I've created a little folder here called Tutorial Purpose. So we're going to click on that, and we will see here we have four images. I'm going to select the first image here. Now these are logos which I've created. Um, a long time ago, I created a channel called Silent Gamer which was going to be a channel which does silent commentaries. Um, the channel, I never uploaded anything to the channel, I never used the channel. It's just something which I thought about briefly, but I never actually got around to do anything with it. But I've still got the logos on here, so I'm just going to use these as an example. So this is the first logo I created. It's, uh, as you can see, it's got a big S and a G, silent gamer, no commentaries, and it's in grey and white. The second one is in sort of black and grey with green writing. And then the third one is green again, but with kind of black and greys mixed in. And then the fourth image that we have is a image from the Walking Dead video game, which I will be using as the thumbnail in this tutorial. So what I'm going to do first of all is come out of that. And I'm going to actually go on to Adobe Photoshop Elements 11. That is the program that I use. You can you can buy it on Amazon. Um, I bought it last year and it cost me, I think it was about £55. It was on offer at the time, so... It's definitely worth looking out for it. It's a very good program. It's um, it's better than, well, I find it easier to pick up than regular Photoshop, so I would definitely recommend it if you're only going to use it for thumbnails. Anyway, what we're going to do is go into File. We're going to go into New. We want a blank image, blank file. And as you can see, I have the pixels set ready. It's 1280 by 720. They're the pixels you want for a thumbnail. That's the, the general size that YouTube recognizes. So 1280 width. 720 height click OK and we have a blank image on the screen okay that's our background image so what we're going to do now is go into file open and on my desktop as you would have seen earlier if I can find it where do we go tutorial purpose we have images there so I'm going to actually open all four of these images and it will open up for us now there we go lovely so that's our background image first of all so what we're going to do click the rectangle marquee tool we're going to drag a nice oops, going to drag a nice box around the image we're then going to click on the move tool to select it click on the image hold down and drag it to untitled one you then release the image on there and that brings the image up and you can mess about with it you can get the right sizes that you want i think we have the right size more or less so just make sure we cover all the corners bring that down slightly i think oh, we're okay i think just click off it there we go so it covers the picture nicely and that's our background image. Now what we want to do, we're going to assume that this is our thumbnail. We're going to pretend that it's a Let's Play and we're going to actually use one of these other logos. So let's click off this. We don't need this one anymore. So we have this grey and uh, white image. We have this grey and black image. And then we have this black and green image. I'm actually going to use this black and green image. I think it stands out. So again, just get the box, drag the box around it. Click the Move tool and drag the image onto Untitled 1. You drag the image onto the, the background image and drop, and that releases it. And as you can see on the right-hand side, we have different layers. This layer, you can't actually see it at the moment, but if we just click on the image and drag it above layer 1, it then pops up on the screen. So all you have to do then is resize it to what you want. Now, of course, that doesn't look right at the moment, does it? It doesn't look like a good image for YouTube. So we're just going to resize it slightly. And we could just leave it there. We could put that on there, put a number on there, and that would be fine. But I think we can make this look a lot better. And what I'm going to show you in this video is how to get a proper kind of branding for every video. So a kind of formula which will appear on all of your thumbnails on your channel. So what we're going to do, we're going to go onto Layer. We're going to select a brand new layer here. We're going to go OK. And of course, you can rename these layers as you go along. So for example, if I right-click on Layer 1, Rename Layer, I'm going to call this Walk In dead back ground oh i spelled that wrong just put bk and you know and that will help you keep track of things if you've got loads and loads of files on the right hand side but i tend to just do it quickly because i'm okay at doing it quickly and what we're going to do on this blank image we're going to drag it right to the top okay so it's the top layer i'm then just going to go onto a tool by here eclipse tool we're going to change that to a square or rectangle i should say and we're just going to get a nice black. Actually, no, we'll go with a green. What we can do, ironically enough, what you can do is if you hover over an image on the screen, it gives you that color. So look, we can get the color of his eye. We can get the color of the sky. 
But what we're going to do, we're going to get the color of the image here. So we're going to get green. Click OK. We've now got a nice green square. So all, all we have to do is drag the square onto the screen. And voila, we have a nice big square uh, rectangle. What we're going to do now, though, we're going to rotate it. And we're going to place it onto the screen. That doesn't look too bad, maybe. Drag it in slightly. We'll try it like that, okay? So we're just going to click off it. And that doesn't look doesn't look too bad for branding. We can tight we can we're going to tidy this up a little bit. So what we're going to do is actually click on it. We're going to duplicate, click OK, and then drag the other image this side. Oh my god, we lost it. Make sure you don't click off the screen like I just did, otherwise you might lose your image. We're going to just leave that in the top corner uh, about there. Okay, so we've got two green squares. Now what we're going to do, we're going to click on the green image again. We're going to hold down control, and we're then going to select the user mouse and left click on the shape one by there. This highlights the image. We're then going to go into layer, we're going to go into layer style and style settings. Now what you can do on style settings, you can go into stroke, this gives you a nice black border, which you can put right around the side, which I think we're going to do. We're going to have a number 10 on this one, I think. You can have a bevel. With bevel, you can drag it up, get nice shades on the image, up and down. Look at that. Does not down look very nice indeed. So we're going to have bevel 250, and we're going to have stroke on 10. Click OK, and then we we'll just click off it. OK, and that doesn't look too bad, does it? Exactly the same with this square. Control, hold down Control with your left hand, right click well left click with your right hand because i'm right-handed of course obviously it's different if you're left-handed click on layer layer select style settings bevel so we had bevel on down and we had it on 250 oh we actually on up do we ah because the opposite side you want to change it so down would be that way and it's light but we want the dark part on the inside of each of each uh, rectangle or triangle and then stroke we had it on stroke 10 didn't we so we're going to put on 10 Click OK and then click off it. So that doesn't look too bad now, does it? It looks a little bit better. So now what we're going to do is get our image, which is on layer 2, and we're going to actually click on it and drag it right to the top of the pile, and it appears on the screen. It doesn't look too bad, does it? It looks a lot better now. And you can play around with this as much as you want. You can have it overlapping. You can make it a bit bigger, so maybe like that. Play around with it, see what you can get. I'm just going to keep it about there. And, of course, you can just click on the image again like the other one and do exactly the same thing. Get a nice little layer around it. So layer style, style settings, stroke, and you can have black uh, images around it. You can go for the green, which might work better in this case. So we'll have a nice green image around the outside. Maybe put on a four. Try out a bevel. See what you can get with a bevel. Doesn't look too bad with a bit of a shine. Have the shine at the bottom of the shine at the top. Click OK. And there we go. Just move that uh, border out of the way. Incidentally, you can actually drag your borders in from the top and the bottom if you want to highlight certain things in an image. It might help out if you're doing more of a kind of uh, a planner kind of thing with your graphical design skills. And of course, we need to get episode numbers on here. So what we're going to do, we are going to produce a new layer. So layer, new, layer, click OK. Drag that layer to the top so it appears above the image. And of course, we, we want to stand out, don't we? So we'll go for the um, text tool by here, the big T. We've got it on wide Latin. I think that's what we have for the image in the in the uh, in the logo. Can't get my words out then. And of course, we're just going to click on the the image, and we're just going to put like a little zero one. We'll pretend it's episode one in this particular series, and we're going to resize it, of course. So we'll resize it, and we'll make sure it fits into the square. But there, that looks quite good, I think. I want to double check that this will work. So if you take the one away and put the two there, as you can see, the two doesn't fit on the screen. So we have to make sure we can resize it just a little bit more. So maybe a bit more down that way and then across here. We'll go for a one again. Episode one. It doesn't look good with the green, so we'll double click and we want to change our color to a white. Click OK. White looks a lot better, doesn't it? Um, we can bring the image down slightly to cover a bit more. I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to hold down the control button and click on the image. Go on to layer, layer style, style settings. Go on to stroke, and that looks really nice with a stroke behind it. Three is what we're on now. Ten might be too much. Bring it to about seven. And we can go into bevel. And again, you can choose to have it 
all the way. You can have it on down. Have it back a little bit. That doesn't look too bad with a bit of a shade. So I'm going to click OK. And that's pretty much it. This looks good. I think it looks a lot better than what it was when we first started. Um, I just did this one in a few minutes, of course. This, I can probably do a better one um, if I put a bit more time, a bit more effort into it. And of course, this is what the finished uh, thumbnail looks like. But we want to use this for multiple thumbnails. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So basically, this background image we've got, which is plain white, right click on it, delete it, don't need it at all. And this is the background image we're using. But if you take the Walking Dead background away and you save this, so file, save as, we want to save it as a PNG file so we can use it again. We'll keep it in this tutorial um, folder. So we're just going to call this um, PNG uh, overlay. We'll call it an overlay. That is basically what it will be. So click OK, save, click OK, done. Okay, now I'm going to exit Photoshop Elements. We're OK with that. We have our background. And what I'm going to do is go and look on the internet now and find a different one so I can show you how you would apply it. So uh, let's think of a game. Um, oh my God, let's see. Let's do Assassin's Creed. So we'll go with Assassin's Creed. We'll go for Unity. We'll go on to Images. And we'll find a nice image. Um, let's get the right sizes. So we want large large image and then let's see find one of these we can use um, we'll use the one with the head so we'll click on view image right click save picture as and we're just gonna stick it in our tutorial folder click OK there we go that's saved so go back into Photoshop elements 11 file new blank 1280720 then file open Arno Drag him in so it's the right size. Drag him onto the canvas. Resize it so it's the right size. Make sure the image covers the all of the canvas. And there we go. We have, that's our image. We'll delete the background image because we don't need that. So this is the right size. And this would be a potential Assassin's Creed Let's Play for some YouTuber. What we're going to do is go into File, Open. And then that image that we created, the PNG overlay, Double click on it, boom, there it is. All you gotta do is drag it to the untitled one and drag it on like that. And that's how you would create it. Make sure it's the right size. And you see, and you can save that then and that would be your channel branding for this particular video. Of course, you can go back and you can change the numbers then as well. So when you do save it, your image, you, you would actually save it as a Photoshop PSD file rather than a PNG. PNG is if you want to put it over the top, PSD is if you want to edit it. So just remember that. And that's basically it for this tutorial. So that's how I branded this image. And I could use this now for any image that I wanted to, if I wanted to keep my all my thumbnails neat and tidy and done in a certain way. If you want me to help you do some channel branding for your channel, leave a comment below and ask in for a request and I'll get my, well, I'll get my game on and hopefully do a decent thumbnail for you. But I've been Dragonheart, the Prince of Wales. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Until next time. Goodbye.